Hi, welcome back to Agile CRM. In this video, I'm going to talk about using triggers to trigger or start a campaign. In the previous video, I showed you how to quickly create a robust campaign and manually add a contact to campaigns for them to start. This other tool is called triggers. So let's go back to campaigns so I can show you how I got here. From here, you'll see any list of campaigns that you have. And let's say for this campaign we did in the last video, let's add a trigger. So here are the libraries of triggers. We have contact-based triggers, deal-based triggers, event, email event-based triggers, I'm sorry. We have call-based triggers. And we do have an event-based trigger. What this is is every time you get an online appointment, you can actually trigger a campaign. We have timer-based. You can send out a daily, weekly, or monthly triggered campaign on a filtered list of contacts. We have some third-party triggers, such as for Stripe. You can run a campaign on a contact when a Stripe event happens, or run a campaign on a contact when a Shopify event happens. We have a form trigger. We have forms in Agile where you can create a custom form with our launch with our form builder. And then when a submission from one of those Agile forms come, you can actually run a campaign. I'm going to go in. You would give the trigger a name based off of a form submission. You will select one of your Agile forms. These are some of my test forms. And then you can decide to run it only on new contacts. And then you will select the actual campaign. Remember, I only have one campaign in here, and then you would save it. So I'm going to cancel that, go back to the library, and we have some triggers for our help desk. Every time a note is added by a customer to their ticket, you can run a campaign, or just run a campaign every time a ticket is actually added or opened, or a specific SLA is reached, or the assignee is changed from one Agile user to another, which means you assign the ticket to me or you may sign it to another user in the platform one of my colleagues you can use this trigger to trigger a campaign to set it up let's say we want to use this tag added trigger you give the trigger a name i'm going to call it trigger get my typing right tag added trigger that's just the name of the trigger the event is when a tag is added to a contact. What tag? Okay, whenever someone gets a tag of new lead, okay? And I wanna run that campaign that I have in there. Save it. It takes you back to the list of your triggers, the name of the trigger, what the condition is, the value, and what campaign. So let's go to a contact and I'm going to add or give them an actual tag. Okay, let's see. Let me go to this one. And this is how you can quickly add. You want to give it new lead. Now remember, this tag does not exist. So I'm giving it to them now and I'm adding it. Okay, so I've added. I'm going to go back to their timeline and you see it there that the new lead tag has been added. Okay, I'm going to campaigns, go on timeline, and we should see this campaign should go out again. And there it is, the email went again, based off the trigger, I added the tag called new lead, and the email was sent again, or the trigger or the campaign was started again. So that's how easy it is for you to use triggers. I hope this was helpful.